good morning and happy Halloween. So, what I'm going to be working on is the torso or chest, kind of the waist. This is probably one of the most difficult parts because directions aren't necessarily as clear. So the way you start is you go from here, go up, go down, go from here to there. Yeah, it seems easy in the beginning until you start building it. Then it tells you that each of these you had to cut to a certain dimension or a certain length, certain height, whatever you want to call it. And it gets a little tricky from there. And uh, hopefully you don't mess up or you're going to get one of the yellow ones like I did. So let's get started. Tools that you need are a mini screw or a jewel screw, maybe a sanding block just in case you want to, which I don't recommend, put the actual body on. All we're doing is putting a body glove on and the plastic pieces. If you want to sand these, go ahead. Then you'll need an exacto knife, of course, because I would not recommend using it to get the exact measurements, which is why the ruler is here. You need a file, just in case you need to get that little bit off, because sometimes when they tell you in the directions, only needs one or one to three millimeters probably needs like one and a half to maybe two and some random number amount. Then of course you need nippers, get them off the runners. Uh, very, very strong glue. I got a pack of four for like three or four butts at Michael's. Very good, use on the yellow one. And if you're gonna use putty, put the sand, uh, put the putty on, then put the glue on because the glue blots it. Obviously, I didn't notice that. They need stuff that's gonna glob up just in case this doesn't work. This will be second hand. And then you need a small or a thin cement for pieces like this. Not gonna say you're ever gonna use it. I really wouldn't recommend it, but there's a big difference. This is pure rubber. This is thin but sturdy plastic i would not recommend to do some do too much with it and this you're going to need it for when we cut the screws because i already cut this two times but some uh they come in lengths about that long you're gonna need to shorten them to about this length and i would not recommend using nippers because i used one on the tip Broke out the tip, that means the nippers are done. Don't use in the middle because yes, it works, but strips metal quickly. Use the thick end, the back end, the end that we don't usually use. And always get thick. If you use thin, only use it for the thin sheets. Please do not make the same mistake I did. And of course you need cutting board just so you don't cut the surface of whatever you're working on. And I will now show you the parts that we're going to use. All right, so just to make it clear, this is not all the pieces that you'll need, but the reason why I'm showing you this is I'm showing you how to read. So on the manual, it says PCD8. There is no runner that is labeled PCD8. There is, all these are PCs, if that made sense. It's not like Gundam kits, it's not like any other kit. It just labels the stuff that you're supposed to do. So what you do is you look on the runner and they have on the tabs. So this whole sheet is a PC and then the eight. So what you do is you clip one of these from one of the four generously given PC sheets and then you put that piece together. But the reason why they have you add so much is because sometimes you're gonna use all the sheets from one, I mean all the pieces from one, then you're gonna gonna have to move on to nets and then you're gonna do that for a couple of these only parts that you probably won't have to are these two uh these two and some of the rest which is like they could just give us small sheets but nah and then you're gonna get random sheets like this as well these are only four pieces and this again is for the torso build like they could have made it all easy like this but they didn't and then you get ones like this, which are also for torso, torso, but then also include the knee parts. So always, before you do anything, look at the sheet. Most of these are all gonna be labeled PC or EV tacked something. And just look at the tab and it will tell you a letter and the number. 
don't mess up like I did. Oh, this is learning. And then I know this is a couple steps ahead, but watch out for this part, this segment, because it can get a little tricky. And this is just the beginning. This is all the parts you need for like the neck and the tricky part, which is these. And this is a little bit ahead as well. This is supposed to fit the wrist. These are too big. You will have to shave them down. I will give you measurements later. All I'm gonna say is that is what you need to sand your block for mostly. You can use any grit other than, don't go above 320, I'll say. Because then you really risk getting too small, getting too deep and messing up like I did. So I'm gonna clip out all the parts and then I'll put it together for you there. So these are all the pieces for the neck. Seems like a lot. It seems like it doesn't really make sense, but it will. And I will get you the orange one to show you what I mean and what it is supposed to look like. So the main part about it is that it's supposed to be long. The neck body glove is supposed to stretch all the way up to here, which I was able to get this one, but because I glued this piece on too early, didn't really fit so that's why I left it off and as the net I mean the chest part and then it goes on here and so on I'll show you the rest of that and you clip off parts to get posability like this excuse that I broke that piece I'll show you why later and it has very very good posability just be careful with it this is very very flimsy not flimsy weak you can feel the not thickness but it's just you'll get it when you buy it now let's get on to actually building it So that's all the pieces done. This is D8, A7, E2, and what is that one? B8. So pay attention to this. This one I cut three millimeters off the top. I mean, 0. 0.3 millimeters. What is it saying, three millimeters? We don't have three millimeters. Or. I actually cut that wrong, excuse me. So, it is supposed to be full three millimeters. This is why you pay attention to the directions because this is now trash. So, we cut this of three full millimeters, which should be, ah, this is an annoying part. One, two, three. Out there. And the neck does need length, so voila. Three millimeters. Now let's build it.
So now the first problem I have to say with this is three millimeter, a little too small because as you saw, first cut, this part popped off. Second part, this part popped off again. So be very careful. I would even say maybe cut this part to four or actually not this part, cut to B8 to four millimeters just so you're not having this problem. And it's not big, but maybe it was my fault for cutting off that nub. And I didn't leave it rounded enough, but always watch what you're doing. And maybe that part is wrong too. So I'm gonna rebuild it. Then I will show you guys the next step. All right, so I cut uh, four millimeters Send it a little bit and I fits the peg. Yes, do not make it flat on the bottom. This fits it and oh my gosh, it's so secure. It's even better than the other one.
this is the neck to the chest. So, excuse me. That's the thing I was telling you about. Some of the lengths, I mean, some of the screws you're gonna need to cut short. Make sure you get metal on metal, not plastic on metal, or else it will break. And make sure on this one, screw head goes underneath and the nut goes on top, just so you don't have that problem like I did. And the posability is really only in the neck. If you find posability anywhere else, please restart because that is not how it's supposed to work. And do be careful of this because it is the neck joint, excuse me. It is pretty tight and it is pretty loose, as you can see. I wouldn't recommend, actually, you may be able to glue it since this segment. Might as well do that. So, here's a strong glue. Come on. All you need is just a little bit. Do not overstress it. I'll do it later. But that's pretty much it now on to the torso and the mid waist and then that will be it for this video
the chest and the upper the lower waist so this is where you're going to plug the lathe in this is the spine it's going to connect like this pretty much hold on like that and then we're going to connect the parts that connect the navel to oh my gosh the chest what is that thing in the middle whatever it's called like the heart whatever near that area and that's where i missed it last time because i cut that too short now it's flimsy so i'm going to show you which ones or how much to cut because on here it says four millimeters four millimeters one millimeter and five millimeters to one millimeter to five millimeters again so i'm going to do five and a half millimeters to see if that does anything and then you guys will see the end result we're almost there So this is the part I messed up on. I'm noticing now I'm going to the left. So I clipped this off. This is A5. Do not clip that part off. It does not say anywhere to meet this one millimeter. It's saying to put in the middle rod. Make this in one millimeter and shove it into here. But there are no holes. So I don't want to compromise or do anything that's going to freaking screw me over. So I'm going to show you how to build it. Very simple. This part goes in here and it's a four millimeter. And if you're like me, you mix them up, choose the smallest one or the one with the white on the bottom, metal flates, stick it in there. Voila. Good connection. Very good. Oh my gosh. Actually splendid connection. Wow. All right. Then. Get the five millimeter, stick it in there. Come on, it shouldn't be that hard. There we go. And then just have fun trying to squeeze her in there. Oh my gosh. So you pretty much get the point. You put this in here and then in the directions, it says to cut those off. But, you know what? I'm gonna risk it. You get four of these, four of the sits. Do not mess a single one up. If I mess up, I will tell you. Oh my gosh. And always clean up your nubs. I'm not really showing you this because first off, you can see a million other channels. Secondly, eh, it just gets boring after a while. So you get to just plug this in, plug the five millimeter in while I get that. I'll show you how to put the whole assembly together. All right, so the directions say you're going to need the mid torso and the legs for the body glove. So it's very, very easy. I'll show you two ways. I'll show you scissors, pardon me. Excuse all that mess. So first way, there's always a line. Follow the line. The first. Like cut, the second school, and then 
follow. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Small itty bitty cuts. Do not waste your time trying to rush this. Go easy. Relax. This was 180 bucks. Are you sure you want to waste another 180 bucks like me? Find a whole nother one. Because I missed a couple of things out. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Small, itty bitty, tiny little cuts. Just enough to get your point across to the plastic. But you're just trying to cut it. You're just trying to open it. You're just going along the seam lines. You're not doing anything else in it. One more, just one more. Make a cut big enough to get your scissors to fit through. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. There we go. Cut off the trim. Come on, you got it. Come on. Voila. Then we also have to make hole. Oh! <gasps> It does not say to make holes. Oh my gosh, I think I made a mistake. Do not cut that hole. I will tell you when or if we're supposed to. Because that made sense. I will show you a piece. Yes. Okay, so here's the spine. There is a nub. That made so much sense. There's no holes in this. So you glue it. Oh. Oh my gosh. This kid's actually pretty dang cool now. Okay, now for this. What are we supposed to cut? We're supposed to cut the whole top off, hold that little nub, go all the way around, go all the way around, nice and easy. So just do pay attention, because if you don't cut these right, yes, they do overlap, but imagine if you cut it to a point where they don't overlap. No, shoot, you're gonna have a small little problem there, aren't you, partner? Then just come on the first line. I know there's a line there. I know, I know, no. Easy, easy, breathe. Do not stress this part. Do not worry. Do not think. Just cut. Just cut. Nice, nice, nice. And cut the other big piece. Make it to where it's comfortable. Do not stress. Do not make a big point of it. It knows you're trying to cut it now. So just... Go with the line I gave you. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Smooth. Don't be nervous. Right. There we go. All right, and then it says cut the middle. Actually, I'm gonna cut the pop on since you guys already saw that. So there's a little slit right there. Cut. Have you focus on this. There we go. Cut. the other arm, just the same way. There's a slit, cut, nice and easy, nice and easy. Voila, now you have the armpits. Now for the neck, just gonna cut off that tiny little tab. One, two, fold over. Make sure you got it all, or just enough, either or. One. It ain't perfect, so let's do it a little bit deeper. Just a little, shoot, I do this all the time. Now we got the two body glow parts all cut out, all looking pretty, looking nice. Do not cut those holes out, do not be like me. All right, now let's go to the actual assembly. So in the instructions, it says get this bottom piece and get this piece. Face it to where the cup is facing down. And just shove it in there. Oh, nice and easy. Nice and secure. Oh my gosh. You don't know how much of a breath of relief this is from the first one, dude. Oh. Now she has a torso. Wow, just like I showed you from before. Oh, she were actually supposed to cut this nub off. Boom. 
yatta, yatta, ya. And then, the heck? Oh, so this part is supposed to go into the PC. It's supposed to be flush. If it's not flush, cut just itty bitty little tiny bit. Do not freaking gouge it out. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that, whoa. That is some amazing articulation. Wow. And it can turn too? Wow. Okay, this. Wow. Oops. I didn't glue it. Shh, don't tell nobody. Wow. All right, now moving on now into the chest. Now let's see if this works. There she is. And uh, yeah, so posability. Oh, look at that crunch. Look at that bend. Mm. So she can stand up straight. All right. And then the fun part is trying to get the pegs back into each other. But yeah, that is what she looks like. What the torso looks like for Ava Unit 00. Prototype number two. <laughs> Excuse me, stuff from A school. I'm just trying to, now the fun part is trying to make this as straight as possible. And like, this is why I told you uh, to wash the inside of these because they get very sticky. And since they're sticky, it's like, do you want to play with it? Not really, but for what's, yeah, so. One last time, this is it. I don't really want to pose it because I don't really want to deal with the pets, but who we are. Oh, this was a long process, a long but beautiful process. Much quicker than the other one. Excuse me. So now I will show you the other one. So this is it. And this is just like, due to it being broken, this is regular posability with all the plastic pieces on it. This one, these two are glued together, so I can increase stability. But yeah, now this one, I can really imagine. Oh, it's, it's kind of the same. Whatever. You saw nothing. And, uh, shoot. It took me like a freaking hour and a half, two hours just to do that. That's it. So for a torso, now up for the arms. The fun part, the shoulders, and then biceps and everything else. So, I'll be working on this maybe tomorrow. Maybe the next day, I don't know. But what you guys will see is the whole build process. I know this is pretty long, it's gonna take a long time to edit, but I'm just complaining. But I'm just trying to say that thank you for watching. It means a lot. And I hope you found this entertaining. If you're building it with me, great. If uh, you're not, I hope it was entertaining. And I will see you guys soon. If you have a kit you want me to build, uh, just put in the comment section if I've already made it. And if it's with me, I'll show you it. If not, then I might buy it. But that means I need that money and I don't have that much right now. So when I get it, I will gladly do it. Stay safe. Um, if you're going to check or train, do the right thing. If you're doing anything with people, do the right thing. Don't be dumb. And I will see you guys on the flip side.